CERM that's gone around talking to tech transfer offices at uh, all of the different major universities, and they are they are desperate for help. How can you help get our stem cell programs partnered up with industry? Well, one of the things we can do is we can take a more affirmative role in this and say, we have a huge number of these programs. Can we aggregate like programs together? And I don't exactly know wh what like would be. It would be sort of dependent on, on uh, the, 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 the person interested in doing it. But let's say all the cardiac programs or all the ocular programs or all the orphan programs. And can we bundle all of these things up that have synergistic uh, uh, opportunities into a package and get that package launched as a company in the state of California that will also be pulling these uh, technologies forward and creating jobs uh, and commercializing uh, life-saving therapy. So bottom line is we are not going to be alone in the pushing business. We are going to affirmatively get other resources involved to help pull so we can move this boulder uh, as quickly as we can uh, from left to right. And the last uh, side of this, <coughs> excuse me, uh, comes down to that hill's just too damn big right now. Um, and a lot of that hill centers around uh, the regulation that it takes. It shouldn't take eight years uh, for a stem cell therapy to be able to go from concept uh, to IND, and there shouldn't be the barriers uh, that there are uh, against developing um, uh, uh, treatments for orphan conditions that currently uh, exist uh, today. So what we're going to do is we're going to organize an army of stakeholders, um, patients, uh, uh, the, the academic community has spoken loudly about this, the other regenerative medicine institutes have spoken loudly about this, uh, and we're going to, and, and, I, and I mean this, uh, we're going to work with the FDA to, do, to figure out whatever cover or whatever help they need in order to come up with a regulatory paradigm that is unique and specific and most importantly responsive uh, to cell therapy. So we can level this playing field so it's not this 50 to 1 small molecule versus cell therapy, but that these therapies are given the opportunity they, they need in order to advance. So the last part of the strategy is level. Level this playing field a little bit more so this boulder uh, can, can, can progress uh, from where it is today to the patients uh, that needs it. And so that's what we mean by this holistic approach. That's why we mean, we say we're gonna attack every obstacle that is in our way. Anything we can think to do in order to make progress, we're gonna go after it uh, at CERM and we're gonna do it with a, a tremendous amount of urgency because we don't have a lot of time left. So the strategy is very simple. When you look at it this way, it is push, pull, and level. Uh, and it's all for progressing these stem cell therapies forward in a coordinated way question you might have is, can we afford that? Yes, we have about a billion dollars uh, in round numbers uh, to deploy. And I say a billion because if you do the math on how many awards we can make out, we can do about uh, 890, almost 900 million. We also have all the administrative uh, work which is involved in pushing this boulder, uh, all the administrative funds. But the bottom line is when you, when you cost these programs out over time, they're doable. Uh, they fit with this, this budget. So. Um, uh, it, it's going to require obviously a lot of effort and a lot of coordination, but this is a program that is financially uh, we're able uh, to do and we're able to get done, uh, and, and so we will. The next thing we have to look at is so, what are we going to get for that? I shouldn't say financial outlook on there. Um, uh, so, this is the, the intended outcomes uh, uh, for uh, this effort. We are going to have 50 new clinical trials started. So we have 15, in the first 11 years we have 15 clinical trials started. Over the next five years we are going to have 50 new clinical trials that get started that cover tw at least 20 unique diseases. Um, we will have uh, uh, indications for ch uh, children, five, at least five pediatric, at least 10 orphan indications. We're going to increase in Progression events. This is a very important thing that's unique to CERM, but a progression event for us is something from moving discovery to translation, or translation to clinical, clinical to uh, commercial. That would be a great progression event. Um, those are progression events. We're gonna we're gonna increase progression events so that uh, across the board, at least one out of our three programs moves forward. Right now, that number sits at around seven percent. Uh, so by linking these things together, we think we're going to have a dramatic uptake in how fast and, and how efficiently these programs move from left to right. Um, as I talked about before, an eight-year preclinical time is way too long. We're going to cut it by at least in half uh, so we can get treatments uh, into patients uh, uh, more quickly. 
We're going to work with the FDA to come up with a system that makes sense. Uh, last week, I was in Japan. I met with the head of the Center for Biologics in Japan. Um, just, to, just to give you an idea if this stuff is possible, Japan enacted this last year. They didn't start thinking about it last year. They enacted it last year. It's actually been up and running uh, for about a full year. Uh, last week, they approved their first stem cell therapy uh, in, that country's, uh, in, in that country's history. So this is possible, it works. Other countries around the world are doing it. The United States FDA also needs to do it. And we need to exist as an agency that can help them get that done, however that is. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we've got to, uh, as part of this poll, we've got to make sure that our unpartnered products get, pro uh, get partnered. Um, so we want to have uh, at least a half of everything that comes into our clinical program unpartnered be partnered by the time um, that it, uh, it leaves CERM. So these are the specific outcomes uh, that we're looking to do. I'm not getting into progress milestones, which are between where we are now and, and this, because it, it would take too long and there are too many of them. There are uh, progress milestones, um, but these are the intended outcomes uh, that we're looking